everyone and I am Ayushi Gandhi and today we are going to learn about environmental degradation which is a continued part of chapter number one introduction to environmental science. Now what is environmental science? We have already studied in the earlier lecture we studied about what is environment, how we can preserve the environment, how we can conserve the environment, how men is affecting the environment. We studied all the components of environment, atmosphere, biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere. We are done with all of these and how each component is interrelated to each other. Now what we are going to learn is about environmental degradation. So now what is environmental degradation? Degradation means when the quality of something is lowering. Here we are going to learn about the quality of environment, how it is lowering day by day. Of course we are responsible for that lowering of quality. Now environmental degradation, over the centuries we Indians have worshipped nature. We have lived in harmony with nature, however of the late we have followed western countries past of conflict with nature. So we have worshipped nature in earlier era of ours but now as we are following the western countries we are adapting those methods and we are destroying the environment. The result is that today we observe and experience overall environmental degradation. Any objective view state of environment of India or any developing countries would clearly show that. That how there is degradation of environment, how there is ozone hole, how we are affecting the environment very very badly by the activities which we are doing. How environment is degrading? First activities, soils are eroding. That means nutrients in the soil are depleting. So if there will be no nutrients, there will be no agriculture. If there will be no agriculture, there will be no food production. Forest retreat. We are going to see forest and that's how we are polluting the forest more and more by littering. Third, water quality is unsatisfactory. Washing of clothes by the lake washing of animals by the lake is adding pollution in the water and disturbing the quality of water which makes the quality of water unsatisfactory. So these are the elements which are destroying the quality of environment day by day. If the nutrients are depleted, food production will be less. So as you can see here, there is a land of greenery and in between there is a land where there is nothing, there are no plants, the plants are cutted by us to make roads. Then the other figure you can also see that the forest area is destroyed, we are cutting forest area to get wood, to make paper out of it and that is how we are harming or degrading the quality of environment. As trees will be cut, there will be more and more increase of CO2 in the atmosphere because trees won't be there for the absorption of CO2. Here you can see how the water quality is unsatisfactory because we are throwing plastic inside the water. So first is urban air quality is worst. In the first point I can give you example of Delhi where the air quality index was lowering day by day because of the pollution caused by people living there and industries. They cannot see that much amount of smog was there in the atmosphere. Schools were closed because that much quality was destroyed by the human beings. And this quality of air affects our lungs very badly and our health very very badly. So that is how the environment is degrading day by day by the pollution caused by the industry and human beings. Now, watersheds are losing storage capacity because there is drought in some area, so they are losing their capacity. Reservoirs are filled up with sediments, they are filled up with the waste and plastic and other elements which we throw in water. These all elements are gathered in the water and that is how the quality of environment is degraded. Wildlife and their habitats are eliminated, solid waste pile up and smolder, crustal swapping ground disappear. So here in the figure you can see how solid waste is gathered at one place and there is pile of waste at one place and it releases a lot of dangerous gases in the atmosphere. That much amount of waste is piled up and by the pressure of the waste 
the gases are released in the atmosphere which are very very dangerous because it does not contain organic waste it also contains either organic waste e waste and other solid waste which are harmful to us human beings and human immune system then there are wildlife and their habitats are eliminated you can see here in the figure that we are destroying and we are taking animals for our own purpose we are shifting them from one place to another place so that people can visit them and see them for our entertainment we are destroying the environment to make even to make highways we are destroying the forest area which comes on the way third you can see how water quality is disappearing and how the animals are affected by that and how the water is lowering day by day okay some of the components have changed to such an extent that cannot be set right by self regulatory mechanism so environment has that mechanism that it can repair itself but it has been damaged if to such a extent that repairing themselves by their own is not possible consequently the changed environmental condition adversely affect the living organism of biosphere you can see your industries again pollution is emitted in air in water and environmental degradation is happening environmental degradation thus can be defined as the lowering of environmental qualities due to the damage caused by both natural events and human activities in the basic structure of environment at local regional and global levels adversely affecting all living organism including men so all the living organisms are affected by environmental degradation not only us but animals are also affected by environmental degradation and the degradation is not only caused by us but also by other natural activities like volcano is a natural activity where environment is degraded then we can say about forest fire that is also a natural activity where the environmental degradation is happening the whole forest area burns because naturally forest fire is created so that is how the environment is degraded naturally by flooding also it's a natural process where environment is degraded forest fire volcanic eruptions are part of natural degradation of environment but humans are affecting the environment to the most the total environmental degradation and pollution arises mainly due to consumption of natural resources by overpopulation of developing countries and wasteful over consumption of resources by developed countries ipet equation popularly known as the impact equation is presented here i is equals to p into a into t so p is for population a is for affluence and t is for technology so ipet equation basically means where how population technology and degradation of resources are combined together to form an impact to the environment so that impact can be calculated by how much amount of population is living in that place how much amount of technology they are using and how much amount of resources are degraded by that population and technology used by that population that is known as impact equation so that you can derive how much amount of impact is done by one person to the environment so here you can see how the train is overcrowded and how the population is using the technology and affecting the environment here by running the train you are using fossil fuels to run the train electricity is generated or coal is utilized whatever method is utilized to run the train so it will definitely emit carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and affect the environment so here also you can see that how population increase as day by day population is increasing the environment is degrading more and more environmental degradation has led to destruction of the environment stability and ecological balance some of the natural event that cause environmental degradation are volcanic eruption forest fire earthquake and floods as i have discussed with you earlier natural form of environmental degradation is done by floods volcanic eruption forest fire and earthquakes earthquakes are also part of natural environmental degradation at that time lot of nature lot of living organisms are destroyed due to these activities here you can see the figure of forest fire the whole forest is destroyed because of 
forest fire amazon forest was an example of forest natural forest fire where the environment was degraded even the australia example the region near australia a forest area which was destroyed because of natural forest fire these are in news right now examples of human activities causing pollution and degradation of environment are nuclear explosion release of toxic gas from automobiles power plants and various industries and etc automobile industries are finding no many substitutes so that they can replace petrol by water or using electric car to reduce more and more pollution in the environment they are trying different methods because this is the industry which is harming the air quality index to the maximum so here you can see in the figure that how the environment is affected by different automobile sectors and power plants and various other industries is affecting the water the air everything surrounding us also the living organism thank you for watching this video and in today's lecture let us summarize what we learned today we learned about environmental degradation what are the different factors which are causing environmental degradation then we studied about impact equation how population is affecting the environment right so we studied the impact equation which is i is equals to p into a into t thank you for watching this video and in next lecture we'll learn something new thank you